Hello, this is Elaine Littall. This is my third try to put together this video, so I, don't, I hope I've got it figured out right. Um, on Facebook, I'm Elaine Littall, author. On um, YouTube, I'm Auntie Lane. Uh, I have a channel with my niece, Brenda, and our, the, our channel is called Mrs. B and Auntie. If you want to see all our craziness on YouTube, please go over there. Okay, I want to show you some of the stuff I've been up to. You see there are some recipes in the description, and these are the recipes. I have leftovers of the keto sausage balls, and they are very yummy. That's uh, cheddar cheese on there, and that's just regular sausage, okay? And they tasted really good, and the stats are on there uh, for those of you counting carbs and things like that, you know. But um, then I also have done, I did the um, pizza crust. We were hungry for uh, something like a bread to eat with the sausage balls. And so I thought, I have made the keto-friendly pizza with the pizza crust that's also in the description uh, it's made from eggs and um, Parmesan cheese and Italian dressing. So, um, it, not dressing, seasonings. Anyway, the instructions are in the description. The one thing I have not made, and I am hungry for bread again, and I want to try this kind that uh, I have been given this recipe a long time ago, and it's called cloud bread. What you have is two eggs separated, two ounce cream cheese, and one eighth teaspoon of cream of tartar. You preheat your oven to 300 degrees, separate the eggs, whites in one bowl, and yolks in another. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me get this where you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know if that's going to hold. I may have to back up. Okay. I got my two eggs here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not going to do it. Okay. Technical difficulties. That's my middle name. Okay. We've got our bowl here. We've got two bowls. And let's see. Let's see if I can do it this way. have to be brave uh patient with me a little bit okay all right <laughs> these are the sausage balls here okay have two bowls i'm going to put the egg whites in one and the yolks in another okay okay we'll do Egg whites over here. It's been a while since I separated egg whites, so I might not be. I'm not really the best cook in the world. Okay, so if you're watching my techniques and you go, "Oh man, that girl, she doesn't know what she's doing at all," then you would be right. Let me see. I'll just pick this up out of there. I've seen them do this on cooking channels. Okay, why, why not? Okay, and here is number two. There we go. So I have those separated. And then it says, uh, separate eggs, white in one bowl, yolks in another, add cream cheese to the yolks. So I already have two ounces of cream cheese cut off of the block. And I'm going to add them to the yolks. Okay. And it says mix until smooth. So I don't guess this has to be as fluffy as the other, so I will use my 
and whisk and do that in here. Yes. So I have to tell you something while I'm working on this. This is the first time I've made cloud bread. And it's been a while since I used a whisk, you can tell also. Everything is getting stuck in it. Oh no. Okay. So you will see that I am definitely not a pro. And that can give you comfort, right? Or it might give you a laugh. I don't know. I don't care. I like to laugh. And if you can laugh because of me, that's even better. Okay. It's making noise. It's making a ringing noise. That's good. Okay. Let's see. All right. Get that out of there for a second anyway. And I'm mixing it. Mixing. Mixing, mixing. Anyway. Uh... I was watching a doctor on YouTube. I watched well, probably about seven to ten different doctors on there. And they were talking, have been talking about intern, intern, what's it called? In uh, intermittent fasting, and what that is is you know you have a space of time between your meals without any snacks and uh, things like that. And some people only do a 12 hour fast. But uh, how I got started is I was watching my niece Brenda on our, she was, I was watching our channel and she has some uh, videos about how she uh, has been doing this fast. And her fast, and she's doing what you call carnivore, which is all meat products. You know, some cheese in there. Eggs, bacon, butter, uh, steak, hamburger, you know, any kind of beef, pork, chicken, you know, and no vegetables. Oh, man, when she's telling all that, I thought, there is no way... I could do that. I have to have vegetables and fruit and stuff. And I was watching her and day one she she did her thing and she said what she's doing and I thought I just don't think this is going to last. Well, I watched her every day and like day five she goes, I cannot believe this. I do not have any pain. And if you have followed me at all, you know that I have suffered with pain like fibromyalgia type pain and just distracting, life distracting pain. I just have been desperate to have pain relief that didn't involve something that would uh, knock me completely out. So every day she'd show up on her blog on our channel and say, I feel so good. And I would be so jealous, <laughs> happy for her, always happy for her, but so jealous because I was hurting, I was hurting bad. And uh, I had decided, you know, for like a few weeks, I had decided to just cut back my food in half. And I was losing some weight. I lost like uh, 18 pounds or something. I don't know, 15, 18. No, something like that. And uh, I was like happy. Goodness. But I was still hurting. I didn't know why I was still hurting. I thought maybe if I had less fat to hurt, then there wouldn't be quite as much pain to go around. Not very good logic. Anyway, she kept saying how good she felt. I'm sorry if this is crooked. But anyway, I thought, she, I think she was on day 15 or 17. I thought, okay, I'm going to try this. And so 
I started doing the inter intermittent, how do you say it, fasting and just eating protein. And about a week in, I could feel some of the pain going. And uh, this is day, close to day 30, and all that pain has just gone. Um, I, you know, like I have eczema in my hair and uh, on my legs, and that's the last to go. Um, the doctors on, on there said that, um, you know, like eczema is always the last to go because it's on your skin. It's not internal. So it takes a little while. So I still have to put a little bit of um, cod liver, not cod liver, castor oil on uh, my legs and uh, in my hair on the sore spots. But I went to church by myself today. I didn't have to think of Terry having to help me up the stairs. I was able to stand through the song service and participate in worship. I was able to sit and listen to the pastor and not hope that um, he would make the service short or something so I could get home to bed. If you followed me at all, you know that I have been, I've had medicines that made me sleep for like 20 hours a day, 18 to 20 hours a day. I was just miserable. So, um, having no pain, I'm not taking any pain medicine. I'm not taking any medicine but vitamin D. And, man, my whole life has changed. I can't believe it. Anyway, so, uh, I've dug out old recipes that I had when I was doing keto. So, let me get on to the next step. I know you're waiting for the next step. We've got... Let me see if I can move my thingy over here. Uh, I've got my mixer. Let me fix this where you can see my mixer, not just me. Now that isn't a fan, I mean, it's a KitchenAid mixer and I wanted it to look like a fancy one. So I got some decals like for a room and I uh, stuck these decals on there because I just wanted that look. <laughs> I know I'm nuts. Anyway, okay. So on the egg whites, you uh, add cream of tartar. Oh my goodness. I think this cream of tartar may be 50 years old. <laughs> it, it looks like some from in the bygone days from my mom's. And I thought, I don't know if this works, but hey, if it doesn't work, that's okay. It's only an eighth a teaspoon. I might put a little more than an eighth in case it doesn't have any taste left. Let me see if it has any taste. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to I need to get my spurtle. And this cool a spurtle. I got that for reviewing stuff on Amazon. I'm a buying Amazon reviewer. Amazon Vine reviewer, and I got this cool spurtle. I got a set of spurtles anyway. Gave one to Mrs. B. Okay. Not cool. It gets in all the crab crevices. Okay.
Well, you know what egg whites look like when they're getting worked up. So, I'm going to let those be a little bit. I'll get a little bit away from it. Uh, it says, you mix it until high and fluffy peaks form. Carefully add the yolk mixture. And... And fold it in to combine. Spray, um, cover cookie sheet with um, butter. And bake for 30 minutes. Hmm. Let's see. Let me get my butter. You'll see me working over here. Maybe not working too hard. But we'll see. Terry didn't intend to do this um, way of eating and fasting, but he jumped in and did it, and he's already lost five pounds in like seven days. It's crazy. Anyway, I am buttering this. This is how my mama taught me. She didn't like to get her fingers dirty. So she would just mutter things like this. Yay! And it's still it's neat enough to wrap back up. Okay, let's see. It's almost whipped up. <laughs> we'll see. <coughs> uh Tell me what you think about what Mrs. B and I are doing. And watch some of our videos. Some of them are very funny. We review uh, music. We re react to it. I'll go in here. We react to different music and some. Somehow we got told to go listen to Philippine people from the Philippines singing. And you know, where when we uh, react to an American or US or Canadian singer, we get maybe 30, 50 views. The Philippine viewers are in the thousands. Yes, on one video. And oh my goodness, they have such great singers. And I mean, rich voices. And uh, they're fun to listen to. So let me, I think. Our eggs are about ready. So, anyway, you'll have to watch some of our videos. Some of them are just silliness. Some of them are songs. Hang on a second. We'll see what. See if you don't get too dizzy. Oh, okay. This looks good. It's in soft peaks. It's in soft peaks. Yay! I'm going to use my spurtle. <coughs> See how nice that looks? Okay. And I'll add my egg yolks. Okay, what does it say? Um, add eggs. Add. No. Almost on the wrong thing. Okay. Carefully add the yolk mixture to the white and fold to combine. Do you think I'm doing it carefully enough? I'm holding my breath. Holding my breath. See how that spurtle kind of conforms. Well, it doesn't really conform to the shape of this bowl too well. <laughs> I bragged about it too quick. Oh no. Okay. Let's see. All right, come on, come on. I should have got just a rubber spatula. That's what I might do. Ah. 
Nothing can beat a rubber spatula, right? No, wherever it is. Okay, here we go. Now we're doing business. Now we're doing business. Got the rubber spatula. Okay. And I'm going to fold it in carefully. Okay. Can you see that? I don't think I'm looking far enough down. Okay. I think that's mixed. Anyway, you're supposed to put it into mounds on a cookie sheet. I don't know, it didn't say how big of a mound, but it said, I'm gonna make it look like little pancakes. How about that? This may be a flat cloud bread, <laughs> since I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. It should taste pretty good, but who knows? We'll see. You see, I told you I'm not a good cook, but I like to try. Okay, so that's kind of like it's all scooted out there. Okay, let me see. I think there's a little bit of room over here for a little one. Let's see. Now, if I crash and burn with this, then you'll know. You'll know. Oh no, you'll know. Okay. <sighs> okay, those are not pretty, but I'll put it in the oven. Now get it to baking for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, there we go. Okay, I'm going to try to pause this. Not sure if I know how. Okay, the timer's going off. We'll see what it turned out like. They look like little pancakes. Let me see. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait to take them out. Or it's cool before I put them on the rack. Let me get us this smaller one and see if it goes okay. Let's see. Okay. It moved okay. These are really are kind of like pancakes. Anyway, I'll work on these later. Um, after they cool on the rack, then you put them in a plastic bag and let them sit overnight. So I'll let you know in a future post how they turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.